Let's take a look at some of the other cartographic enhancements at 9.3 that GIS professionals can use to help with their map making workflows. The Maplex labeling engine is very popular for many ArcGIS desktop users. At 9.3 we've added a lot of enhancements to the placement rules as well as the overall performance of both the standard and Maplex labeling engines. Here we see an example of one of the new placement options for our streets. Our street features have to and from address ranges as attributes. There is a new address placement labeling rule with Maplex to speed up the process of having nice address labels as text on your maps. Note the use of the new stream placement rule. Labeling stream and water body features now has a more pleasing effect, an effect that is often seen in published maps or atlases. Here we can just turn on the rule and use a nice italic style font that meanders along the stretch of water in the current display extent. Another new addition is the ability to place labels on contours in ladders with alignment uphill or to the page. Next, let's take a look at some of the other cartographic improvements new at 9.3. In this scenario, as a desktop analyst, I've been tasked to create a map for an upcoming event in our local community. The event is our Bicycle Classic in our downtown area, and we need a map of the bike routes for the kids' and seniors' events. So far, I like the cartography I'm using, which is all just from the core ArcGIS symbology but there are a few things I'd like to do to give my map extra polish since it's going to be shared with the media and will go out to the event sponsors so they can post it in their businesses. First, I'm using some of the new picture symbols that have been added to ArcMap at 9.3. These symbols are similar to symbols used in ArcGIS Explorer. There are a hundred or so of these representing many types of features. I'm using them here for the location of our features like water tables, restrooms, ATMs, and parking locations. To give my map an extra finishing touch, I'm going to use some of the new cartographic representation rules at 9.3. Cartographic representations provide organizations solutions to common cartographic challenges with advanced symbol placement rules and effects. But the biggest benefit of cartographic representations is that an organization can store the symbology of a particular layer in a feature class in the GeoDatabase. To start, I'm going to modify the symbology for the buildings layer. I'm using a neat effect that sets shadows for the building. I'll make a new representation. And then in the layer properties, I'll add a new fill layer, move it to the bottom, change the color, and next I'll add a move geometric effect to shift the new layer to give the appearance of shadows. Notice how the buildings pop a little bit off the map now. This is one of my favorite new cartographic tricks. In the past, I've seen people create a full copy of their entire building layer and then edit that copy by selecting and shifting all features a bit, saving, and using the redundant layer in their map. Now we have a simpler workflow to create the shadows. This newly created shadow representation with the move effect is stored in the feature class as a pair of attributes. Anytime I want to use this effect again in one of my maps, I don't have to recreate it from scratch. The buildings layer already has some representations created. These are for other map products we create in our organization. I can change the buildings layer to use a different pre-created representation. I can also quickly change the representation for the city blocks layer for a similar effect. Next, I would like to clean up some problems with the dashed lines you see surrounding the city blocks. These are the two different routes for the Bicycle Classic. 
The one in pink is for the children's event, and it overlaps the seniors' route in blue. I'll convert my symbology to a representation. And now we'll take a look at a new tool in the Cartography Toolbox that's available with ArcInfo at 9.3. This new tool lets me refine the dash patterns for a layer to be more in sync with each other. Notice how the dash patterns are now in sync. My map's getting closer to being what I would like to see as a finished product. But now I'm having an issue with these yellow symbols overlapping. These are the event sponsors. They're important. We're going to have a list on the map as a key for these sponsors. This is a common issue I know many of you have had in your mapping projects, especially from the result of geocoding operations where multiple address points are near or on top of each other and cause conflict where you cannot see all the symbols. We need to see each of the sponsor locations. First, I'm going to convert my sponsor layer to use representations. Now I'll use the Disperse Markers tool to arrange the representation so that we can see all of the sponsor points. I really like my map now. In the past, I probably would have exported this map to a format that is readable in a graphics editing tool like Illustrator or Freehand to make the adjustments we just saw. But now my workflow is more streamlined because representations are stored in the geodatabase as a property of my data. Let's see an added benefit of using representations. With representations, I can edit the symbology of my data separate from the shape record. For example, at this map scale, I don't like the conflict with the bike route and the median strip in the street. I can start editing and select my representation and move it to a more appropriate location. Next, we're ready to share the map. At 9.3, there is new functionality that allows me to export my map to PDF and include attributes as well as georeferencing and coordinate information. A patch for ArcGIS 9.3 is available on the ESRI support site that provides the georeferencing functionality. Here we can see options for exporting the attributes as well as exporting the georeference information. In Adobe Reader 9, I can turn on the Analysis Toolbar and use the Geography tool to show the coordinates. I can also click on a Sponsor location and see the attribute data associated with that sponsor. We've seen improved workflows in ArcMap through a few scenarios. In the previous scenario, we created a map from scratch by using data from ArcGIS Online. Here, I use the new Maplex and cartographic representation rules and effects for making a more attractive and readable map.